Welcome back to the Shabby Shack. In this video, I'm going to show you how I made this floating solar hummingbird feeder. To watch till the end, it's amazing. Guys, we're going to need four of the Dollar Tree hummingbird feeders. We're going to need one 14-inch wreath form. We're going to need two of the Dollar Tree hanging basket chains. We're going to need the E6000 all-weather glue. We're going to need four of the Dollar Tree solar lights, making sure to get the ones that have the sleeve that pops off. We're going to need some 2X Rust-Oleum in red, apple red. We're going to need a drill and a small bit. Okay, so the first thing I did was I painted my wreath form red and painted the sleeves to my solar lights. Next, I'm going to drill holes in these sleeves on both sides across from each other at the top of the sleeve. You're going to need this hole big enough that a the hook can go in. I'm counting five chain links and I'm going to be reversing the links at the end and using the link in the middle as my hook. And these slip off and on just like a key goes on a keychain. So once I have these on, you can see that the um, last hooks uh, face outward to go on to my sleeves. And my top one is the hook that it will hang on to the wreath form with. I'm going to put, one, put these on each side in the holes and I'm going to close them up so that they don't, the sleeve doesn't slip off. Okay, next... We're going to need to take the post off of our solar light, and all we want is the top light part. We don't want the clear part. Now we're going to run a bead of E6000 inside of our sleeve, making sure to get a good bead that will hold this solar light because it's going to be holding the weight of the water also. We're going to slide this up in there until it gets close to the hook. So it is going to hang out a little. That's why we're gluing it in. And we're going to let this dry for 24 hours. Make sure to wipe any excess glue off that might get on the solar panel. Next, we're going to cut the center out of the top hanging part of our hummingbird feeder. And we only want to cut the center hole where that hook is at. Once we've done that, we're going to run a good thick bead of E6000 around the, the outside edge, top outside edge. This is going to hold our solar light. Making sure to get it in place well and making sure that it's not affecting the movement of the button that you cut it off and on with. Do not get glue on that. So once we've done this, we'll let it dry for 24 hours. We're going to cut the tops out of all four of these. And you can see they just twist off the top of the hummingbird feeder. Once it had dried for 24 hours, I went back, made sure the light was on, and I'm wrapping a bead of glue, hot glue all the way around the inside for extra added hold. Don't get glue on the button. So once I've done the inside, I'm running a bead around the outside also. Because this is going to be holding up the weight of the water bottle. So now it's time to put our chain on. And I'm just going around my wreath and I'm doing every other crossbar and making sure to get it in the crossbar itself. Because we don't want this sliding around on the wreath form. We're going every other one. And our hummingbird feeders will hang on the other crossbars. Okay. 
So once we have our chains on, there you have it. Now it's time to fill these hummingbird feeders. And I used a mixture of water and sugar that I found on the internet. Now I'm just putting my lids back on and I'm going to hang these on the opposite crossbars from the chains. Our fourth one will hang in the top center underneath the hook that the actual wreath is hanging from. So here's what it looks like hanging up and you can see that that fourth one is hung up at the top through the hook. And they are hanging on the crossbars. You can see we have a little friend who found it right away. It looks awesome. Guys, please take a minute to share this video if you don't mind. Now you're going to see what this looks like. Hanging up outside, there you have your floating solar lights. Guys, please remember to like and follow the Shabby Shack.